Can we tell him don't come? Well, good morning. It's been a long time since you all have seen us. Yeah. But today is Friday and we're not working because guess what? In my birthday weekend, I'll be 41 on tomorrow, y'all. E -e 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 Being that tomorrow is this dude's birthday, but, but I want this dude to know how much he means to me. I want him to answer that text message on his phone that I just sent him. That's right. Pack your bags. We are going on a birthday trip. We will return on Sunday. Don't ask no questions. Pack your swimwear. We need to hit the road by 2 p.m. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I'm going to pack my bags. I don't know where the <laughs> hell I'm going. I will pack my bags. I'll be ready when you get back. It's 1028. That's three hours, three and a half hours from now, man. I know it. All right, guys, as y'all just saw, you, my husband received a text message from me, but I have to fill you all in on the journey we are about to go on because it's not going to make a lot of sense because this was a surprise birthday celebration. I wasn't able to narrate anything on camera beforehand to let you all know what I was about to do without him hearing it. So what I had to do was first step, I knew that where we were going, we needed groceries and we needed groceries in abundance but we do everything together so couldn't go down there to go shopping couldn't have a grocery order delivered to the house because he would see the groceries so bam i have an appointment so what i did was i did a grocery order for pickup got that grocery order stood in a parking lot and strategically placed all of the groceries around in the trunk. So I bought cold bags, bagged up all the meats that we needed for that weekend, all of the cold stuff, bagged them together, tucked them as far into the trunk as I possibly could so that everything could go off without him knowing. He knew after we got in the car that we the, the groceries made sense then, but there would have been certain things that would have tipped him off. Because we're in COVID, I had to bag up all of the stuff to clean that that place thoroughly before we could lay our heads down so there was a lot that went into the preparation for this so as you can see in the next clip he's just going along for the ride y'all all right good folks we are on the road going to i have no clue but i'm excited though for my birthday though man i'm I'm, I'm glad to be 40, get ready to be 41 on the mile. That's a blessing in this freaking day and time to be a black man to reach the age of 41. So I'm excited about that. But this woman over here, I love her to death. I don't know what she got going on, but I'm here for it. Y'all. Well, folks, I know where we are. Green Springs, man. I'm ready to have a good time down here for my birthday. She going, she running to go get the keys, man. All right, good folks, we are here. As you can see, Lynette is wiping down. I am wiping down too. Getting all these surfaces, make sure. They say that they have a COVID-19 cleaning guideline, but just in case somebody got lazy on the job, we gonna do ours. Yeah. What I do know is that they did not deep clean because if I'm wiping down stuff and stuff is coming up on these, you ain't deep clean. You may have sanitized, but yeah. you didn't deep clean. So that's why we doing what we do. Yeah. Make sure it's right. I had to open that door. They're just there gonna clean the products, man. Good God Almighty. All right, then we just got this place all sanitized. We went and ordered some Chick fil A. We got some grilled nuggets and some waffle fries. Lynette got herself a, a house salad and she said it's bomb. It is bomb. But she got to say that she got some nuggets and some fries over there too. But how you say that? That avocado um, sauce with that, that junk? Well, this is the Cobb salad. And I didn't get the crunchy. Um, chicken i got the grilled spicy chicken and this avocado lime ranch baby that jank is off the meter all right lynette over here prepping my ribs for my birthday tomorrow i told her i wanted some ribs and of course she came through she got all her gourmet seasonings and she get ready to go and cook them on up for me that's the only thing gonna be missing is it ain't gonna be able to be cooked on my grill so i'm gonna put some liquid smoke in on my yeah they gonna make them taste like they came out the grill it is Yes. 
So y'all, got my husband down here. And when I sent him to text this morning, I'm not completely convinced he was surprised, surprised. Like I think, like he felt like something was happening. Are you confirming? No, I I had no clue what you were doing today. I had planned a whole weekend to be at home and cook on my grill at my house. I wasn't planning on going nowhere after. I saw, after I saw it supposed to be raining, I was done. I was gonna be like, I'm at home. I'm just gonna do what I do at home and that's it. So yeah, I was surprised. I had a feeling it was coming this way somewhere, but I didn't know where it was coming. But I didn't think he, I thought she was sneaking and taking me to Virginia Beach for real. And see, there's here's the thing. I was trying to take him to Virginia Beach, but Virginia Beach got so expensive very quickly. Like literally the resort that we stay in for like two to 250, which is, that's a lot per night. They went up to like 495. 525 a night and we were planning on being there for two nights that's over a grand for virginia beach and for me i was like that's not worth it so i'm so glad that everything worked out and we're just down here chilling y'all so we will check in with you all on tomorrow so good morning it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday listen these workouts are doing something because usually even on my on our birthdays we doing it up yeah. We woke up this morning. Stanley was like, I want to get a Denny's breakfast this morning. He was like, I wonder how many calories that is. I said, well, it's 1900 I already looked it up. He was like, oh. Because uh, I know I'm probably going to no. <laughs> probably gonna do bad later, but I'm like, 1900 starting off in the morning? Nah, that ain't even worth it, Mike. So he said, why don't we go to the grocery store and get some pancake mix and do our own thing here at the resort? I said, well, I'm with it. I was trying not to go to the store. But I'm with it. Yeah. Let's go. So we woke up that morning, right? And my husband started naming all stuff that he wanted to eat that I knew I did not provide. Okay. So you probably said, well, how did that, that all that stuff came in there and it didn't tip him off? Well, we shop in abundance all the time anyway. So none of that stuff would have thrown him off. But there were certain things that I told him was a surprise in those bags for his birthday dinner because he had asked for specific things for me to cook for his birthday. But I told him I added to it. So I didn't want you looking in those bags so you wouldn't see. But the things that he was asking for for breakfast would have made me have to go in those bags and pull things out. So I had to go along with this plan to go to the grocery store and allow him to spend more money that we didn't need to spend. But it's all part of the journey, y'all. So let's go. All right, we're back from Publix and this is the birthday grocery haul that wasn't on anyone's agenda. Blueberry Stella Rosa wine. Picked up some hazelnut international delight, sugar-free. Some ready whip. Carry go, buy one, get one free. I needed one, you might as well get the second one for free. We actually went out for this. We yeah. Went out for pancake mix. Yeah. We got some limes. Got some salt. Stanley wanted some ice cream, couldn't decide. They would buy one, get one free. So we got the no sugar added, um, vanilla chocolate strawberry. Y'all already know about these cookies right here. Halo top, because I've been trying to fall in love with Halo again. I needed some mayonnaise, some Smucker sugar free. If you haven't tried the Smucker sugar free syrup, try that. It's a game changer. Chock full of nuts. They gave us some coffee here, but it's only for today. And we got some milk and honey body wash. And we just use that for the soap bubbles in the, the in the garden tub. Yeah. And just to freshen the place up a little bit, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't smell homey. It doesn't smell like your home. So for all the men in your life, if you want to keep everything down there fresh and yeah, clean this, and yeah. Yeah, that's where it's at right now. Axe, Apollo, sage and cedar wood and then i got some dolls so and then a loofer to go with his his his, his yeah. stuff Alright ladies and gentlemen, breakfast is served. Lynette did an awesome job. Look at them pancakes, man. That's some eggs, man, right there. And that bacon. And of course y'all know I gotta have my have my little Coke and the coffee. You ready to throw down, Mike? Yeah. Look y'all, that breakfast was delish. <laughs> Try to finish up this delicious coffee now, but uh, and we fitting to go put our clothes on, our swim clothes at that. And we going to the wild, AKA Pooh. So I've been waiting to get out 
itching to get in the pool this summer, man. So we're gonna see y'all at the pool. All right, so we done arrived at the pool. Yes, Lord. So this has been a long time coming, man. So Ooh. I'm definitely looking forward to that. trying to find a spot so we can go ahead and jump in this water and cool off because it is hot out here. So I asked Stan, I said, where is your sunglasses? Oh, they in the car. Ain't nothing changed, y'all. He's still forgetful. Pray for me. So we've been in the pool, so now we said we gotta dip and uh, break the cold, cause it's a little, it's a little cold, but it ain't cold as it usually is though. Yeah, so Are you ready to dip, Mike? Let's do it. All right, one, two, three, let's do it. <sighs> yeah. Man, that water felt some kind of good, didn't it? Let me sit up. Yeah, man. Yeah. It ain't move around that much, but it, I, I do feel whoop that pool whip. Yeah. But um, there's two more surprises that I don't have a clue of what's happening. I was like, can we come back get in the pool later? She was like, I don't know. We might have time because we got two more things. So I don't know what they are, but I'm excited, man. Yeah. What is it? What is it? And you can tell them. Telling them is telling you right now. But if you give me the camera by myself and the SD code. I can tell them. Because <laughs> you've been a review the footage, man. Yeah, I'll come back and then and be like, let me take a look and see what's going on. We're going to sit here and dry off a little bit. Then we're going to head back and get dressed. And I think she said around 1 o'clock we're supposed to be going to this next destination. Oh, I don't even know if I'm leaving. I don't know. All right, so the plan was that morning we were going to go to the pool. Like, I had all of this stuff backed out. We were going to go to the pool. We were going to buy us a few hours because part of the surprise was en route to us. And the ETA was around the same time that I had planned for us to move and transition from the pool back to the condo, right? So this is what Stanley didn't know. We were going to go home. We'll go back to the condo, get freshened up, take our bath. And I told him, I said, we're about to go to destination number two, but don't dress up. Like do your casual wear, look cool, but don't dress up like we about to go to Atlanta or something like that so we're sitting there he was like well, what time are we gonna be, um, have to leave out of here i was like uh about 1 15 something like that so about that time part b of the plan wasn't quite ready <laughs> so i'm in there i'm stalling i'm in there doing my makeup i don't gel my edges for like 10 minutes i'm like he's catching on that something is about to happen so then part b was like we on our way up the steps and the plan was knock on the door act like you're maintenance because we already had had a maintenance it's call that we had to cancel that morning. So I said, if you say that you're maintenance, he's going to answer the door and have an attitude about it because he already told y'all not to come. What you're about to see is maintenance coming to the door to surprise my husband or his birthday. Can we tell him no call? Maintenance. Whoa! So let me explain why this surprise was so important to me for my husband. We met both of these couples via YouTube, crazy enough. But if you understand the kind of people that we are, we do not gravitate to people easily. So when these people came into our lives, it was almost like it was meant to be. And let me tell you, the first couple was Dre and Shan from Dre and Shan TV. They drove down from North Carolina to surprise my husband. And then we have Tiffany and Brian um, finding the foresters and they came down from northern virginia so all everyone took a little a little bit of a drive to get down here 
to surprise my husband for his birthday. And Dre is like a big brother to my husband. So when I pitched the idea that, A, you know, his birthday is coming up. I know we're in COVID. Y'all not moving like that. But I know that y'all know that we're not going nowhere either. Would you consider? They was like, don't even ask no more. We coming. It's like all of us get together and make a weekend out of it because Stanley also rocks with Brian like that. And this would work out really good. And I'm so glad and I'm so grateful that you all were able to come down and surprise my husband because it was something that he needed. And he needed to get out the house because he don't rock and he don't go nowhere because of COVID either. But he told me, he said, Lynette, this was what I needed. And these were the perfect people to do it with. So finding the forcers and Dre Shan TV, thank you so much. We love y'all. On to the video. So good people, I am in here cooking. Everybody else have dispersed to everywhere they need to be. Um, I sent Shan on a run, stuff. But anyway, my husband seemed to be very, very surprised, and I'm so glad that he was. But now we're in here cooking and getting shit together because we need to put something on our stomachs. So. How you feeling, man? Man, I'm feeling good, man. That was a hell of a surprise. Now I wasn't expecting for the family to be here, <laughs> but I'm glad that they're here. It's fitting to get lit. Down here at the green, but I'm telling you, last time we got together, it was crazy. And it's fit to be mm -hmm. even more crazy this time. Now, as you see, we're in the kitchen. Tiffany went over to their condo and she cooked um, shrimp tempura. She put together a kale salad. She made some samoas. And then over where we were, I had made some lemon garlic wings and the trash can nachos was, it, it just never happened. Then for dinner, we did ribs. We did lobster macaroni and cheese, green beans and barbecue chicken. And then later on that night, you know, y'all already know. Y'all already know, right? Everybody was ready to eat something fried, crunchy and sweet. So Stanley got in the kitchen and blessed us with some fried chicken and he baked some cookies from the unnecessary grocery haul that we had to do that morning. Man, we out here chilling, y'all. Y'all missed a whole lot of the fun, but we still having fun. So everybody out here chilling. <laughs> Sorry y'all couldn't be here, but we out here having a good time. For sure, for sure. I I was surprised when they showed up. <laughs> Genuinely surprised. She hid it well. You did. You hid it very well. Got him. Got, got him. Got him, yes. <laughs> So this has been the best birthday ever in a long time. Oh, Lord. So, so shout outs to my baby. Yeah. Now I got competition because I don't know what I'm going to do for her birthday to be able to match this. So she put the pressure on the brother. So I'm going to need y'all to be praying for me fasting <laughs> for at least 21 days. They ain't got 21. They ain't got the <laughs> well, I need y'all to do a seven day Daniel fast for me, please. So I can figure out what I'm going to do for her birthday. But yeah, we having a good time, y'all. I appreciate all the birthday wishes, all the birthday money. Y'all are good to me. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. She said Sha. She said Rock. Okay. It's a Rock. <laughs> That's what I yeah. Sha Rock. So Dre has decided that we all have to take a shot for Brian's birthday. Yeah. Only right. right. <laughs> With the Viking bottle. Happy Ooh. birthday, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday everybody. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Kansas. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I have to add that in there. It doesn't taste bad. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Nice. That's that yeah. good old. Ah, they hit right. Yo, as y'all saw last night, we had a good freaking time, like. And of course, we could not end the weekend because today is Brian's birthday. So we're doing a surprise brunch for him this morning. And happy birthday to Brian today. Happy birthday to Dre tomorrow, because his birthday is on Monday. That's crazy. My birthday 8th, mm -hmm. Brian's the 9th, Dre's the 10th, 8, 9, 10. He mm -hmm. brought the goodness on the 8th, 9th, and the 10th. Right that right, fellas? <laughs>
So the next morning, as you all can see, all the men's birthdays are one day apart. Stanley, Brian, Dre. So we woke up to leave on Brian's birthday. So we decided that we're gonna give Brian a birthday brunch. So that included, we had mimosas, we had pancakes, eggs, bacon and sausage. All of us came together that morning, sent Brian off and then Tiffany swept him away and they continued that celebration. And then we were able to transition back home from a great weekend. Check out the footage y'all. How y'all feeling this morning? Good, some pineapple yeah. juice, some feeling good. orange juice, hey. and some champagne. Oh, I got a couple strawberries for the cups. Happy birthday, B. Woo. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, man. That's all. Happy birthday, Happy bro. Happy 21st. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, man, just keep getting younger and younger. Ain't that good? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you go. I had to give y'all a good pan of that breakfast right there, man. <laughs> man you see them pancakes and shan made right there? You can tell we're trying to be fancy too because we got we brought the real They were supposed to be uh, they supposed to have been they supposed to have been waffles, <laughs> but we got some pancakes dumped. That's right. <laughs> the shade. Yeah. Time to eat. Time to eat. Yeah, it is. All right, right family, we're getting ready to depart. Uh -huh. But nobody's yeah, ready to go. No, nah, bro. Not at all. Yeah. But I gotta say again, man, I appreciate y'all coming out for your boy. No. Y'all got me feel like I'm a king and everything. You know? <laughs> wow, Come a long buddy. ways to come see your bro for his yes, birthday, man. man. Yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to Dre and Shan TV. Y'all already know the fam. And find the force and make sure you yes. subscribe to them yes, too, sir. you know, because y'all don't know what we're gonna do next. Yeah, man. Man, we might end up in Alaska. Who knows? <laughs> uh huh. You just never know. Right. So you gotta subscribe, hit that bell notification. All right, family, straight from the VA. <laughs> dirty, dirty, south. Two, two up, two, two down. down. Holla. Holla.